I want. Okay na po, ma'am. Nakikita po yung screen ko. Nakita na po. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, classmate. A detailed lesson plan in English, grade 5. Um, for the objectives, identify the present tense of verbs in a sentence, use a simple present tense of the verb in a sentence correctly, and explain and discuss the only of the present tense. For the subject matter, my topic is simple present tense of verb, reference, integrated English for active communication by Louis G. Mendoza et al. Unit 2, page 12. For the materials, Cartolina, Manila paper, and marker book. For the procedure book, prayer. Um, okay, good morning, class. Um, who can tell me the meaning of the verb? Okay, very good. What are the types of verb? Okay, Andrea, can you answer? Okay, very good. How about, what is the linking verb? Okay, very good. Can you give me some example of the verb? Okay. Um, what? An action, what is an action verb? Okay, thank you. Can you give me an example of action verb? Okay, very good. Um, before we proceed to our before we proceed to our new lesson, let us have a game. The game is called Charades. Who can who can read the mechanics of the game? Okay. The mechanics of the game is IR. The class will divide it into two groups. On the board are the them are the mem there are members. Each member contain a word that they should act. Each group must have a present representative who will choose a number from 1 to 10. While someone is acting the world, the rest of the members should guess the act. Each will be given 30 seconds to guess the word. The group of the higher score will, will be the winner. Okay. Okay, class, did you get all the words on the board? Okay, very good. What did you notice about the game? Okay. Yes, correct. Those are example of verbs. What kind of verb they What kind of verb are they? Okay, very good. They are action verb. Action verb and linking verbs can be used in a simple present tense. So today, we are going to discuss about simple present tense. Simple present tense express habitual action, present state or a condition, failure and action, and general truths or facts. In simple present tense, all we have to do is to add S or ES to the verb. But but we also have to make sure that the subject should agree with the verb. If the subject is singular, verb should be also with S. But if the subject is plural, 
verb should be plural with without s or save the form did you understand okay let's discuss it one by one okay habitual action uses to refer the repeated or singular action and it is usually used with adverbs always usually often normally sometimes occasionally seldom or rarely and never and time expression all the time or every time most of the time every time and now once a while generally once or twice a week here are some examples oh. the pupils of grade five pray every day The subject is plural. The subject here is plural. Plural. Okay. What is the sen What is the said in the sentence? Okay. Very good. Why we must pray every day? Okay. Thank you. Um. Here are other examples. Dad always cook the dinner the verb will the verb will add s dad always cooks the dinner number two she usually go to bed at eight o'clock in the evening the word go we will add es to our verb okay try to answer this using habitual action Okay, are you done? Okay. Next. Present state or condition. We use verb to express present, present condition or, or state of the subject. Example, the Lord hear our prayers. The Lord hears our prayers. The weather today be cool. The weather today is cool. She belongs to the first group. She belongs to the first group. Okay, try to answer this again using present state or condition. Okay, are you done? Next. Future action. We use verb to express the action that is happening in the near future. Example, the train leaves at 8.30 a.m. The train leaves at 8.30 a.m. Number two, the plane arrives at 10 p.m. The plane arrives at 10 p.m. The party starts at 6 o'clock in the evening. Our verb will be starts. We will add S or ES to the verb. Okay, try to answer this again using using future action. Okay. Are you done? Next, for the general truths or fact, we use verb to express the truth or fact information about the subject. For the examples, God loves us with all his heart. Our verb is love. We will add S to the verb. Number two, we speak Filipino and English. We will add S again to the verb. We will speak Filipino and English. Number three, the moon shines at night. We will add also S to our verb. The moon shines at night. Okay. Um, try to answer this again using general truths or fact. Okay. Thank you. Um, why do you think... Why do you think knowing simple present tense of the verb is important to us? Who can answer? Okay, thank you. It is important to us 
to know simple present tense of the verb so that we will be able to compose correct grammar in speaking or writing. Okay, for our generalization, again, what are the four uses of simple present tense? Who can answer? Okay, thank you. Can you give me an example of, of sentence using habitual action? Okay, thank you. How about a sentence using present state or condition? Okay, thank you. Very good. How about a sentence using future action? Okay, thank you. Lastly, a sentence using general truths or facts. Who can answer? Okay, thank you. Very good. For your application, try to answer this using the four simple present tense. I will give you five minutes to answer this. Okay, are you done? Pass your paper. Okay. Next, get another sheet of paper for your evaluation. Try to answer this again. Okay. Pass your paper. And for your assignment, answer the engage on page 13, unit 2. That's all for today. Goodbye, class. Thank you for listening. Thank you.